Well, hello again. Good morning. Today is the 1st of January 2024, so Happy New Year. Anyway, while all the grandchildren are having breakfast and so on, I'm taking a little moment. Here we are. Here's the CT engine. As you know, it was filled up with oil and straight, and you just check that there's no no leaks, no problems anywhere and so on. Uh, right, this has all been lubricated. This has all been cleaned. We've checked all the all the cam followers. Uh, cleaned all the threads. Uh, is that it really? So now, okay, so now we look at the pistons come in these rather nice boxes very well wrapped made in China and machined in the USA and sent to Europe so it does tend to go around the world a little from AA performance product there we are I'm, just, I'm going to show you the easy way to fit these what you need first of all is a piece of uh, 100 millimeter or 4 inch drain pipe cut to 80 millimeters why do we do that so that we want to prepare the pistons for inserting into the block if you've got an 80 millimeter gap push that down to the bottom and it's right every time you see you want to be able to see both sides of the gudgeon pinhole all right okay what you have to do is you have to decide which piston is going where not a bad idea to label them up and remember that for example in the case of this one when that goes in all right you're gonna have to be able to put the gudgeon pin in through that way all right okay. otherwise you'll be struggling now then what we're doing is we're setting this up so that we can install it easily without hassle onto the engine all right now there's certain things that you simply must do uh, and so on right first one is once you have decided which way the gudgeon pin is going to go in because this is the flat side right so get yourself a decent pair of circuit pliers honestly it makes life so much easier you have to excuse me going out of shot no people complain about this but I only got one set of eyeballs now then here we go now when you sit this in you must be sure that it's in properly and you can tell straight away because you put the slightest bit of pressure and it will turn you see that's not in correctly that is okay. right once you've confirmed that that is in where you want it to be now little dab of grease around the bottom of the barrel you can use it I'm just using some lithium grease but you can use or molybdenum grease you can use anything you like really then put on the paper gasket work that down right then right. now you're going to slide this gudgeon pin in till it's about there all right now then what we're now going to do is we're going to 
align this so that it's what should we say perpendicular right now the engine side of things we're going to bring number one up to the maximum okay One more little clean never does any harm. Right. So that, with very little fuss and bother, toil and trouble, There, you can feel that's hooked in now. That now goes in. Right. Push that in all the way till you can feel it doesn't want to go any further. And that you can see the circlet ring the ring for the circlet you can see it here like I say if you've got a decent set of circlet pliers long ones makes it so much easier just make sure I'm happy with that and then we can slide the piston down you're happy that you've got the um, circle it in properly now as you're going in make sure everything lines up nicely and then watch for the bottom of the skirt here there we go down it drives that is number one right and we want to put on a keeper so once it's down, put on a, a keeper, a bit, of, a bit of tube, put on a keeper, put on a keeper nut, and that will just keep that in place when you're turning the engine round to fit the next one, otherwise it will pop off. Right, so logically we go on to number two. So, now we have the four pistons and barrels on, we can start to look at the cylinder heads. Right, so now, here is the cylinder head as it comes out of the plastic bag. So, <coughs> the head comes with the studs that are going to hold up the rockers and they are blind so there should not be, be an oil leak so looking at these cylinder heads these are 043 type which is good I like the uh, laser printing and all the rest of it um, clean on the flashes uh, so it comes with uh, two big studs, two medium sized studs and four small studs. The big studs go in the top. The longer two studs are going to go on your inlet manifold and the shorter ones 
are going to go on the exhaust. Right, so I'm going to just put a bit of thread locking compound on these, just to be on the safe side. There we go. Wind it in until it stops, no need to force. Just till it locks, you see. And there we go. It will clean down. And that will be your head pretty much ready to go. Now, on a CT, because the engine, on the original CT, uh, because the engine uh, is detuned, they have decompression rings. Right? which are designed to, uh, these are two litre ones, but uh, they've got decompression rings uh, to lower the compression ratio, but we are going to wind it up fairly tight. We're going to raise the compression ratio a little bit so we can run on 98 Ron petrol, what I call four star, uh, super, you know, unleaded, obviously. Uh, uh, there we go. So that is going to present on there. Alright, so far so good. Right, so now we'll present the head. So now the head slides smoothly on. Leave yourself a gap about like that. Good morning. Another day. Another part of the build. So we have now got as far as having all four cylinders on. And we put the sump plate on and so on and so forth. Now we're looking at putting on the cylinder heads. We're going to put on cylinder heads push rod tubes new push rod tube envelopes I'll show you these these look like beetle ones but on CTs and water boxes and so on a small end and a big end a big end and a small end the small ones will fit both ends for beetle push rod tubes and the larger ones fit for whatever. Now, what I do is I put a little marker on the opposite side to the seam so that when the engine's in place, when it's in place, it hangs down with the seam on the top in case of any leaks. Uh, I put these together, I put these on with some silicon grease uh, just to make everything straightforward. All right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to hang the cylinder head on. We're going to leave a little gap then after the seals have been put on we're going to put the push rod through like this to just let it all dangle down just so it holds everything in place all right so i'm going to prepare up these rubber seals now and we'll take it from there mm -hmm. so that's the tube prepared a little bit of silicon grease on the rubber seals these uh, 
in the Victor Wright kit these rubbers are a good quality I've seen in the cheap kits that these seals the rubber compound which has it's supposed to have a high silicon content I think the rubber compound is very flaky and chalky and I don't get the impression that they would last very long but there we go now big end is that end here she goes just like that just to hold them in there we go right carry on and do the rest so we've now offered up the head see it's still got plenty of room it's, we've offered up the head we've put the push rod tubes in and then just to hold it on I just put two nuts on there one on there one on there just to hold it in place and then I'm going to build the other side and then I'll show you the next bit right so that is now the heads on both sides and the push rod tubes just loosely put into place two nuts just to hold it two nuts just to hold it now I'm going to put it on its front and I'll show you the next bit so I'll have the engine sit on his nose ratchet strap to hold everything in place while we start to tighten up now why do I go through all this palaver because if you look you can see quite clearly that there, there is an angle between there and there and there and there and if you just tightened it down straight off you wouldn't get a very good oil seal and you'd tend to have oil leaks at the cylinder head end of things so what I do give it a little bit of a crank and then so that now as you've got a bit of tension on there I just put this in the hole here and just look just tidy it up a little bit make it a little happier you know then I can give it a little crank up and we see that everything's going down nicely and we're going to want to see these studs come through okay so now, now I've got four nuts caught, only just, I can't actually get the washers on. So you tighten progressively until you can get a nut with a washer at all four corners as it were and that you're happy with the way the everything is settling down. All right, and then you can start applying, get all the nuts on, start to nip it up. Don't try and talk it down yet. We're not there yet. Things to do yet. Okay. All right, so we now have the nuts all in place, just finger tight no more uh, as you can see the tubes are all adjusted so that we get a good seal you can see the difference between this side and that side you see it's that's got to come up quite a long way right okay so got the tension on there now I'm going to do the same thing this side uh, so 
same procedure as before. Just like that little. Progressively tighten. Right, here we go. You can see the shape. Now I'm going to take the strap off and we're going to do an initial tightening down of the heads to the barrels. Make sure everything is all square and we 